Class D airspace is under the jurisdiction of a local air traffic control tower. The purpose of an air traffic control tower is to sequence arriving and departing aircraft and direct aircraft on the ground. Class D airspace provides airspace within which the control tower can manage these aircraft around smaller towered airports. Class D airspace is typically a circular area with a radius of five miles around the primary airport. This controlled airspace extends upward from the surface to about 2,500 feet AGL. Sometimes Class D airspace surrounds airports with control towers that operate part-time. When these part-time towers cease to operate, Class D airspace reverts to Class E or G. A good memory key for Class D airspace is Discuss. Here is the Class D airspace that surrounds Decatur Airport. Class D is depicted on the VFR sectional with a dashed blue line. Since Class D is typically a single circular area of airspace extending down to the surface, only the ceiling altitude needs to be shown on the chart. This altitude can be found within a dashed blue box. In this example, we see that the Decatur Class D airspace extends from the surface to 3200 feet MSL. Just like with Class C airspace, the typical dimensions of Class D airspace are added to the airport elevation to determine the MSL ceiling height. In this example, Decatur Airport is 682 feet above sea level. As we saw in the previous example, to arrive at MSL altitude, the AGL altitude of the airspace is added to the airfield elevation. This gives us an MSL ceiling of 3,200 feet for Decatur Airport.